The House has resumed. Members, the House is considering the Overseas Investment Restriction on Foreign Ownership of Land Amendment Bill. Raymond Ho had the call. He has three minutes remaining. Thank you very much. Raymond Ho. Speaker. Thank you. Um, <laughs> New Zealanders have a widespread concerns about this issue. Um, and those issues are valid. As a Kiwi Chinese, I share those issues, uh, I share those concerns because we're not addressing those issues uh, for ourselves now. We're addressing those issues for our future generations. Um, it's all about striking a balance. Labor supports foreign investment, but we cannot afford to sell our future. Or quoting the Prime Minister, uh, John Key, we cannot afford to become tenants in our own land. As I said, well, that minister is laughing. I don't know whether laughing at my contribution or laughing at his prime minister's quote. And I'll quote again, New Zealand cannot afford to become tenants in our own land. As I said, however, we do uh, have some concerns about the scope and the focus uh, of Dr. N uh, Russell Norman's member spell. Uh, because it effectively prevents any foreign ownership of sensitive land. Labour's own bill in that regard uh, has taken a balanced approach. It limits the discretion of the portfolio ministers uh, to approve applications for the purchase of rural land. It therefore significantly narrows the type of investment in rural land uh, and it ensures that economic benefits, uh, job creation and increases in our exports are the most important factors to be considered. Um, it does not prevent all foreign investment in New Zealand, but it does recognise that buying land in New Zealand is a privilege. Um, I have just quoted what the Prime Minister said, that New Zealand could not afford to become tenants uh, in our own land. In a similar vein, we cannot afford to lose control of our best income producing assets. And talking about our best uh, income producing assets, a New Zealand Herald story by Adam Bennett says that all governments sell off firms are top performers. A report by accounting firm Ernest and Young released just before Christmas last year confirmed that those state owned and energy companies that this national act. Uh, government is so passionate about selling um, uh, are generating returns well in excess of the government's cost of owning them and outperform most similar private sector companies. So Mr. Speaker, it's, it's a matter of striking a balance. If we fail to strike a balance, New Zealand is going to tumble down. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. In reply, Dr. Russell Norman. Uh, thank you, Mr. Speaker.